Доброго дня, шановні колеги. Ми будемо продовжувати робочий день в українському кризовому медіа-центрі. We continue our work in day at Ukraine Crisis Media Center, and the topic is Ukraine service for authors and the copyright and the associated rights. Our guest is Vladislav Milsovsky, Development Director, Ukraine Service for Authors, and Roman Kingdarov, IT Project Director, Ukrainian Service for Authors. And in order to highlight the problem, we will watch a video. So our authors, our directors, creative people, they do not have their rights preserved. And we have 18 uh, companies in the area, but their activity is usually not efficient, and the authors do not get royalties. and. After all the transfers of money, they get only f the authors get only five percent, and uh, this is racketeering because money is gathered, but authors didn't get this money. Thank you very much. And now Vladislav Mitsovsky is given the floor. Good afternoon. We represent the Ukrainian Authors Service, organization of uh, collective use, the organization that is for the collection and distribution of royalties among market stakeholders. I would like to say that the situation outlined in the video is really there, and this is a problem. And uh, on the example of several figures, we can show what is going on in Ukraine. So the organization of uh, collective management in previous period, they gathered and distributed 60 million grivnas that is about 2 million euros. These are 18 organization of uh, collective management. And uh, we can compare we can look at the example of Poland. They have 30 8 million people of population and 12 organizations of collective management work there, and one of them get 80 million euros. You can imagine 40 times one organization out of 12. The example of Germany is even more shocking. There, there are 13 organizations of collective management. Gemma, one of them, during the last period, gathered a 99 million euros that is close to billion. So the population of Germany is twice as big as in Ukraine. So there is catastrophic situation in the field of royalties, and uh, it shows that uh, there is a lot of piracy in our country, and uh, it prevents the development of our country, and it's entering European market. And uh, our partners see it clearly from outside, and we understand it here in Ukraine. And only part of royalty um, that needs to be collected and redistributed, uh, it is present in our market. And all the situation requires 
state intervention and regulation and in the governmental bodies there are several draft laws on restructuring of this market. Thank you. Let's go further. The main problem of the market is not simply small royalties, but also in trans a non-transparent system of their distribution. The video we watched at the beginning of our meeting, there is figure that sometimes only 5% goes to the owners of these rights and the 45 up to 72 percent that is lower than the overall indicators in European states and in the, for, uh, in the world. What we want to state first from the above mentioned in our market they believe to solve this problem, there should be monopoly um, organization that will allow to create uh, the circulation of money and will manage these matters on, in the market. But we see that there are great examples in Europe when the, there are uh, they have the same number of collective management organization as we have in Ukraine, and we, for ourselves, try to find other uh, solutions of these problems. In our work, we tried to unite and gather our experience. This is 18 years of experience in the market uh, of uh, copyright and uh, associated rights, finance management, <clears throat> and 15 years of experience with technologies, IT technologies. And uh, by gathering all the, uh, these resources, we came to some innovative solutions to the problems of gathering, collecting, and payment of uh, royalties that is built firstly on the principle of uh, transparency and access accessibility. And uh, before now, the system of collection and payment of royalties uh, is looks like a system of tax collection, a system of <coughs> payments, uh, and this is not comfortable for users and for owners of the rights, and we propose the innovative system based on principles of finance management uh, f and that is built on uh, uh, banking processing and that uh, helped to create more favorable conditions for the users, um, for owners of the rights and for authors. Let's move for further. All the market of uh, copyright is consists of two parts authors who create and the users who use these products. And our idea was to create a service that would unite them, that would make it user-friendly for the authors to place their uh, products for the users and to create a, a, a situation in order to have easy access for users and uh, for them to easily get licenses for the use of these products in advertisement in cinemas and so on and so forth. And the main criteria of uh, user friendliness is that the user can 
make them accessible. Uh, the, the author makes them uh, easily accessible for users. He gets statistics on the use, and in online mode, they get all the payments for the use of the products, and they see statistics on all the products, who used his products, and in what way. So this is colossal statistics that can be used by authors in order to correct the activity in some way. And in this, our decision, we, and I repeat, we have transparency there. Second innovative may be the main component of our portal is that uh, there is a new principle of distribution of collecting funds. Uh, collective management organization is non-profit organization. It gathers from the users the payments for the use of uh, the rights of the author. Then it uh, deducts its uh, operating costs and all other money should be distributed among the authors. And uh, many companies uh, set really high operation expenses. And uh, as it was stated in the video we watched, 45-42% uh, of the money gathered go to authors. And we have different principle. When uh, we tried that these payments to the authors, they should approximate European norms. 80% was selected, and uh, all these 80% online immediately should go to the accounts of authors. And uh, this is absolutely a different principle of distribution. And in this situation, they, um, it is impossible to accumulate this money and to transfer them to other accounts or to do other things that are sometimes done by our colleagues in the market. Let's move for further. Here, I would like uh, to give more detail of the methodology, uh, how our portals operate and what uh, functions we provide uh, to authors. Uh, an author, first of all, may very easily register our portal and place <coughs> his or her works there, and they will become accessible to users, and uh, authors can enter into direct relationships with the users where authors' mm, permission is uh, a must. In all cases of synchronization, we provide authors and users direct the opportunity of direct uh, negotiations and transparent formation of the uh, price. We are not intermediaries. We are just a service uh, uh, f which helps them to enter into agreement. You, uh, the author can see all statistics of uh, uh, you users uh, during loan period and can analyze uh, uh, the uses of his work. I would like to note that all this process is online as soon as Organization of Collective Management uh, the Ukrainian Corporate Service um, 
gets money uh, for uh, use of someone's uh, uh, creative work, 80% of the same funds, they are sent to the author. So uh, we provide users the same functions as Miro. The user may easily register at our portal, enter the portal, and choose uh, the uh, works, creative works, which uh, he would like to use uh, and uh, easily buy license uh, uh, for uh, public reproduction, for synchronization, and uh, also uh, there is online monitoring and automatic reporting. Uh, consumer pays directly to the owner of rights to because the money are transferred to account of the uh, rights holder copyright holder a very important uh, aspect uh, is uh, and f uh, for uh, to be user friendly, we developed uh, we've developed special packages, uh, so users can use uh, unlimited access, uh, uh, or can have access to 100, 200, or 300, or 500 uh, songs. Uh, uh, this. Uh, mm, provide the, uh, the choice of system of uh, selecting songs for their platforms on the concerts and uh, radio station, broadcasting stations and TV broadcasting stations. Uh, it is very easy uh, to um, uh, organize monitoring over the use, but there is also shadow markets such as cafes, bars, restaurants, and entertainment uh, centers, uh, especially in provinces. Uh, uh, it is uh, hard to control and the use of uh, copyright there, uh, they, so they can select uh, mm, songs they want to use, uh, form some packages, then we very clearly understand what uh, creative works they will use, and in online mode we can pay all royalties to the author of this uh, such creative work. Also, users uh, can get licenses for synchronization for movies, for TV and broadcasting uh, stations. So, uh, here I would like to demonstrate you how the portal works uh, to this end. I am giving the floor to Raman, uh, who is the IT project manager of Ukrainian Copyright Service. I would like to say a little bit about uh, how the portal works in mechanical terms. The key uh, task is it is an online pr platform which provide the platform to, for, uh, for users uh, and writers to meet uh, so that uh, the rights holder can get royalties and can represent uh, uh, their products such as musical compositions and also registered at our portal as usual. Uh, the system is uh, adaptable and user-friendly. Any uh, internet user knows how to use such kind of systems. Then uh, you confirm by your email your registration data. So if you are copyright holder or if you are a legal entity, you enter on information about your company. 
uh, which is the right holder or uh, copyright holder of uh, certain musical compositions. Upon registration, you can upload tracks, but uh, without uh, contract, uh, the uh, copyright holder doesn't see his uh, proceeds. Uh, he enters account uh, requisite details uh, where he want to get his royalties, but uh, a key point is to enter into a contract on paper. We are obliged uh, um, to identify the person so that we are sure that royalties are um, received by a real copyright holder. Uh, so documentary confirmation of uh, copyright uh, of copyright holders of uh, uh, small catalogs or spot copyright, they can upload uh, musical compositions and the transfer rights uh, um, uh, to collect funds to the benefit of this uh, copyright holder, of this uh, author. Uh, here you can see how you can choose the musical composition. It would be inside the portal, so our administrators, our moderators, they will check tracks in MP3 format, and upon moderators uh, have checked the track, the track becomes uh, accessible for users uh, as uh, background music, as request for synchronizations, all those rights uh, they are available inside the portal so uh, user can use uh, this uh, uh, copyright objects uh, in a live form uh, on the other hand uh, a consumer uh, to use all features, all products at the portal, he or she could register. The process of registration is almost identical. It is almost similar to registration process of uh, copyright holder uh, with the only one uh, distinctive feature. This feature is that the user can enter into a contract. So. Uh, well, uh, paper contracts uh, previously uh, were needed, so, uh, but they are needed only for copyright holder, while a user can go nowhere, just uh, he doesn't go anywhere. <clears throat> uh, he uh, uh, enters into a contract online, uh, just uh, uh, feeling uh, relevant boxes in our application forms <clears throat> and here you can see the form of contract now it is concluded why sms confirmation and the electronic uh, mail confirmation that the client really would like to use this product the contract in uh, uh, electronic format is available at the user's portal and uh, if user needs uh, paper form uh, he uh, uh, applies for it and we send it after the contract is uh, concluded uh, uh, for example client uh, uh, has chosen for his uh, cafe uh, in Dnipro uh, the package uh, Infinity. Uh, this purchase is paid and for other cafe the client use not the unlimited package but the package uh, of 
of those uh, musical compositions which uh, he likes, he selects the compositions, you can use as the infinity or you can choose 100 songs per month. So you get specific conditions for that uh, outlet which will use uh, these songs uh, so in order to pay you just uh, download the form of invoice uh, give it to your account and uh, your accountant your accountant pay uh, in cashless form online and so license uh, as soon as the payment is made the license starts uh, uh, becomes effective uh, so client during 30 days can select compositions and reproduce them from our portal and the system registers uh, every use of every composition. Uh, this is uh, virtual statistics. Uh, the system is specific. It uh, counts the system counts the number of uh, reproductions of uh, a certain composition and the uh, copyright holder in online mode a user what he uh, does uh, he uh, listens to music uh, he reproduces music in his uh, uh, trade uh, or entertainment center uh, at the same time, in the electronic room of copyright holder, uh, every second you can see uh, where tracks uh, are now being used after uh, the license uh, has expired. You can get statistics how many times every track repro was reproduced. So. Uh, for each track you get statistics, 80% of, uh, of royalty, they are paid through our system to uh, copyright holder. Our copyright holder in this case got 150 hryvnas. Uh, then he doesn't go to any bank. Uh, online, uh, he uh, fills an application to get his uh, funds. Uh, in this uh, example, uh, you can see that uh, he wants to get 100 hryvnas. So um, uh, he enters the code received by SMS message. You know how it works in online banking system. The same principle is used here. So the copyright holder uh, confirms with such uh, peril and uh, the system gets uh, this application for money and money are sent to his account if uh, uh, a user is a legal entity then back office account and they calculate all taxes uh, to be paid from this amount uh, and the uh, taxes are uh, sent to relevant uh, <clears throat> Uh, tax offices. As concerns public uh, reproduction of background music, the second process on the market, uh, this is purchase of uh, specific compositions to use them in advertising uh, as tracks in movies and TV. Uh, shows uh, the synchronization process for this is also available in the portal uh, the client should uh, uh, enter 
the following uh, form you can see it on the screen now the client uh, wants to have the musical composition for advertising the videos so here uh, you fill all the uh, boxes uh, what product uh, on which territory will be advertised uh, which periods uh, uh, will be covered by the advertisement and uh, here there is one item this is financial terms if copyright holder uh, has already set the price for this track then uh, you should use this price if there is no price uh, available here if the copyright holder uh, didn't put it then the client may offer his price for example 19 uh, thousand grivnas uh, then uh, the application is sent to the copyright holder and uh, in electronic room of copyright holder this application is seen uh, so copyright holder opens this application sees how much uh, money he is offered and he can see here uh, uh, all the details uh, and in this case our copyright holder decided that for this entertainment center uh, he wants uh, to work not at 9,000 uh, 9, hryvnias but at 25,000 hryvnias well now he sees uh, the count of 25,000 hryvnias so you can see that client and user they have met at uh, our portal, uh, our uh, commission for um, provision of services is 5%. Uh, in online mode, the user gets a license uh, signed by a copyright holder and after that uh, uh, the license on paper is received by uh, mail. Uh, so after 25,000 grivnas have been paid, uh, uh, the deal uh, is completed. Uh, so, uh, client um, sets uh, the amount uh, and the customer pays it online. This is simplified process uh, of uh, uh, rather complicated contracts uh, making so uh, we make users and right holders uh, uh, closer to each other as far as possible uh, but uh, we will not stop at this point. There are many options and technological solutions which allows uh, to scan uh, ear of uh, broadcasting stations and TV stations and form statistics and distribute funds uh, not on average statistics uh, indicators but um, real consumption of musical compositions could be monitored uh, uh, according to actual their use on air. Uh, besides that, uh, uh, the next steps in development of the system we suppose uh, to uh, mm, produce products uh, for suppliers uh, which uh, have been provided by copyright holders for licenses for transfer of uh, property rights. Correspondingly, uh, uh, correspondingly, our task is to be uh, 
close to uh, users and to provide our products to provide our services online thank you what I would like to add is that the users working with this portal with the, will use the database that we have it is not enough for the market and what we see what opportunities we see we are ready to provide this service for all collective management organizations that are interested and this is important if they are ready to shift to the system the main is to introduce transparency and accessibility honestly speaking and everyone says this and this is not our idea sometimes it appears that Many players in the market do not want transparency, and this is the main problem. If the market uh, shift to the system to simplify the introduction of products for the authors and uh, to simplify the uh, the uh, the situation for the users and uh, um, according to our estimates and the estimates of the ministries and we in the nearest future will shift uh, uh, from 60 million to 2 billion grivnas in the distribution of royalties and uh, maybe even 20 point fourth so the figure is absolutely different and these funds they are in the market and uh, really they collect this money but there is no transparency in the distribution that's why the owners of the um, uh, of uh, copyright do not g get this money so this is the opportunity for the market on the whole to make first small step in order to improve situation in the market and in order to develop this issue further. And we propose to everyone to use this system to test it because feedback of users and authors is really important for us. That's why let's get united and let's find a, a joint and optimal solutions for the market of uh, copyright and associated rights. Do you have questions? A lot of questions. Please introduce yourself first. Miroslava Nuchuk Unyan two questions. The first, when this platform will be launched and who will finance this? The platform is in operation and uh, on the 15th of uh, July there was an official launch of the platform, but we didn't make steps in the market in order to verify the functionality and uh, our uh, authors, they placed their products and thanks to them, we prepared the solutions that function now and the platform is uh, uh, as, uh, in UA and uh, Welcome, join, use this platform. We want everyone to feel the opportunities created by our platform that we introduce in the market. And as to financing, the development of the system has three sources. And at the moment, the key idea so there are 
ready-made IT decisions, and we should use finances that are proposed by international donors and funds in the form of grants. And the work is carried out actively in this area, and we started the work, and those operating expenses, 20% they are used for the development of the system. And uh, the ideologists of the system, they are present here. They help and support the development of the system. Can you tell us what is the sum and who are the main donors, international donors? Now we carry out this work, and I'm not ready to answer who will finance, because we work with several organizations, and as of today, there is no solution, and we won't say this now. Sergei Zagorodny Collective uh, Management Organization. Is there limitations for betrayed? The minimum betrayed is uh, 40 and maximum is 356. Next question. Me as a user. I conclude the contract with the, right, uh, the, with the holder of these rights. How can I guarantee that he is really the holder of this right? You said that the user, that the system is oriented on the KBRs. For example, I want to conclude a contract for some resources, for some tracks with some holder. So you conclude a contract with the, the organization of collective management, that is Ukrainian author service. So if you see the track that is placed on the site, it means that there is a holder of these rights who placed it there, who has the share in this. The next. You said something about invoice. Can you show it? What is the what is in, uh, this uh, vo invoice? There is the number of license for the product that is that was selected by the user. Does the system provide the opportunity uh, to find information about taxes? For example, you. Uh, calculate these uh, so um, the holder of the right can be a physical person and this procedure is reflected in the C1 and uh, there are calculations uh, and uh, taxes are included so this um, uh, this is realized in one uh, 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 S. C. So there are some people who earn on uh, uh, this. So how can how can he prove that he paid uh, the taxes from his royalties? So. The holder can address us directly, and uh, these uh, documents are prepared by a back office, and they provided in paper form to the holder of rights. So uh, we can pro uh, provide it online, and that would be great. If, for example, the user broadcast something on the radio, so the contract is like this. We provide the right for the use of piece of music uh, that are placed on our, uh, our portal, and everything that he does 
it is not licensed by us. The decision that should follow, there is Hungarian and the other decisions when there are special fixes and the points of selling, and that they scan broadcasting at each point, and uh, uh, the analysis is formed correctly in the online re mode of the use of the system. And uh, we propose some packages, and the more we have. Uh, so the users can form their needs, and uh, they use uh, radio for broadcasting because there is no ready-made uh, easy mechanism how to form their own internal radio. So they get this piece of music, and they form their internal radio, and we provide stream, streaming, and uh, this provides opportunity for feedback, for control, and this gives us the opportunity for the selling points or any platforms to form the internal radio and uh, to include the, some advertisement uh, that increase uh, the efficiency and uh, that will uh, help to pay royalties. So this is the opportunity to create its uh, internal broadcasting with the use of our streaming that we now launch in the nearest future. This is optimal decision to simplify for these platforms uh, how and uh, uh, in what way they will um, buy products and uh, uh, our collective base should grow, more authors sh should join, and not only our base, but we should all create a single transparent system, and we should create common um, base for all the owners uh, in Ukraine. No one knows uh, who are the holders of rights, to whom to address. So you understand the situation, and this portal is an important step. It creates a base, and uh, if each holder had uh, its own basis, and we would create the single base, any user from the single base could get these um, products, and then they would distribute it to different platforms. But uh, first, we should establish transparency, and a system should be created. And uh, we wanted to propose this to society in order to test it. The next question. Bogdan Glavatsky, mm, I have a question. Uh, I entered your site and I saw the interface for the users and I didn't understand clearly the formation of costs for the users. How do you plan? What prices you want to set for these sets? So what is the amount of money? What is the cost? Cost formation is based on the market principles. Today, out of uh, 18 collective uh, management companies, we can see that uh, the price setting is, uh, for example, the most expensive point of selling is in Kiev, and uh, the prices are maximal. And um, uh, the next level of Dnipropetrovsk, Kharkov, Donetsk, Lviv, Odessa, next level. These are regional centers, rayon centers, and the settlements. And uh, there are different segments with their own price. For example, restaurant in Kiev is 2,000 grivnas, uh, trade center, um, depending on the uh, size, 5,000, for example. So what does it mean, market price? It should be based on something. Because other collective management organizations do not show their rates, and the only thing we know is the Cabinet of Ministers' provision. That's why I ask 
what is the process of setting this price. For example, you said that uh, it, from what it should depend on. So there is two ways by choice, fixed cost that is based on segment in what city these are tariffs. Maybe you, sh you want to see the table that is in the system. You want to see it printed. And uh, by choice of client, he can choose and he can use the percentage he should introduce the income and the system will calculate. So by choice of consumer, he can use one or another. Uh, and we support both. And as to tariffs, maybe we should prepare this information first, how much it cost and so you register, you find location, and you see the price. So at this point, we end our press briefing. Thank you. Until the next time, goodbye. Dear colleagues, our next event is at 12.30.